Okay, let's continue where we left off from the previous video. We've just defined a button that's going to open up a window that shows a page, uh, this page here that contains the page layout component. And uh, we're now defining how the arguments in the page layout component are going to be um, resolved with data from the uh, current row in the grid that we've just defined. So uh, this uh, 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 page layout component uh, part remember had uh, two arguments what customer ID and what state and here we specified that what customer ID gets its value from the customer ID field in the current row and what state gets its value from the bill state region field in the current row so let's go ahead now and uh, save that and then uh, uh, save our uh, action JavaScript uh, let's go ahead now and uh, save this component and uh, run it and when we run it we can see here basically there's our buttons so if the current row has state equals massachusetts and customer id equals 001 when i press the button you can see that the uh, page that the uh, the window opens up showing the page layout component you can see here we're seeing the two customers um, the two invoices for customer number 001 uh, and if I look at the report, I should see all the other customers in Massachusetts. And in fact, that's what I see. Then let's go here, for example, to uh, say this New York customer, customer number seven. So I click the button. And there's the uh, invoice for customer number seven. Of course, I can go to the row expander and expand that and then go to the report and I should see all the other um, customers in New York. So what this is demonstrating is that the uh, pop-up window here is displaying a page layout component. The page layout component uh, uh, defines an argument and uh, when we open up this, um, this window to display the page layout component, we're setting the value of that argument based on data in the current record.